Hello guys, in this video we will see how we can embed the PHP info in Magento Admin. So you can look at the information about the PHP, the modules and so the PHP versions and all information about it. So let's carry on. So one of the things I found in stack article, there is a way of having this code and it will return just the HTML from the PHP info because the PHP info calls a page and it has its own headers and its own head and uh, CSS and everything, the page style of on its own. We need to describe that and we just get the new styles here as the suggested by this article and then put whatever comes from the PHP info with restyling it in a different way. So let's head to our code base and create a module for that. So first of all, let's create a module and I'll call it php info php info cmodule.xml and then empty module training php info it doesn't depend on any module so that's fine having the registration file again training php info now what we're looking to is having a system xml file to have a section so let's do that inside admin html system.xml and then we will have system i will make this to show in the system section so section system uh, where it shows should be if i go to stores configuration side advanced and then system so in the system we will show the php info should be one of these what we're looking for is a group the id will be php um, the id php info and then the type is text and then sort of the, we will have it one and it only show on default and we'll have a label for it and we call it php info or just php information and what we need is front front end model so that's it that's what we need to to do in the system xml file we're just trying to have the label and then whatever when you click here rather than showing all these we will show the one cell i think inside here yeah, inside this table and it shows the php info page that as we see it on uh, the page when you call php info so we will create a block and we call it block uh, admin html then config form field set and then php info so this is the block we name space it php info field set and class info so this is the class we are going to use so we just copy it and then paste it here we paste it here remove the first slash and that's all we need now we need to implement the php info class this will extend from field set in magento so we'll extend field set and what we're looking to is copy whatever in this copy and then we say protected function get php info html that will return a string and then paste this here we say ob start and then php info this means do not render whatever comes from php info and then store the content because it's in the ob start then will be stored the html will be stored in the content then we just store it now we take it as a php info in a variable and then we end the ob uh, and clean it now we just replace whatever in the html we remove the before body whatever comes before body and the end of the body and keep only what's inside the body tag that's all it does this pyrrhic replace now once it's only the content inside the body is fetched and it's cleaned away everything from the html and header and head is cleaned away then we reconstruct the phtml uh, the html content by adding a style to it with the div php info now we are returning this rather than echoing it 
So this is the first step we do. So we just uh, the comment here. And now if we go inside field set, we will see get header HTML. We will copy this method and override it. Copy and place it here. And the only thing we need to do before the table is rendered, we can say here HTML add the PHP info HTML to it. That's all we need. Just add in this line in this big method we overridden. So that's all. Uh, let me just fix everything. So we are getting the HTML now. Uh, whatever comes inside the body, and then append it to the head to the header HTML of the section of this section. So it will be here like this. But it will be once you click on this, it will show the PHP info page or info table. Now we just try to set up upgrade in Magento set up upgrade. So it's very simple having the system XML, system XML file inside section system we add a group called php info and then we render the php info inside it this block is being implemented in here as a field set extends from the field set now we get in the php info html from the stack uh, article this answer to a question and then we just append it before the table so the setup upgrade is done we just need to refresh and here we go this is the php information you click on it you will get all information about your system and server with everything you need so it's a very good tool to refer to and find out of everything is missing from the server or you want to add something uh, if it is missing or you want to look for some information so all is here this is it i think and hope this is helpful and i see you in next video